up everybody, your boy Drake here from Punchback Skunk YouTube channel and today we're going to cover the jab. I know a lot of people cover uh, the jab but they, they, they tell you how to throw the jab but they don't necessarily tell you when to throw the jab, philosophies behind the jab, what's good situation to throw the jab, different variations of the jab and then different, different, all the different things about the jab. So we're going to cover basically the jab today. But before we get to that, I'm going to tell you if you like hardcore, hard hitting, no nonsense talk, Hit the subscribe button right now because punch back skunk is where you need to be. And, and, and now we're gonna stop. Listen, the jab is a is a punch that uh, some people call the most important punch in boxing, uh, including me, uh, because everything sets up off the jab. You, you when people say the classic one two, bop, bop, that's that's off the jab. Everything's off the jab. I, I we're gonna talk first off. Let's talk about how to throw the jab. Uh, first off, to throw the jab. Uh, and, and I'm teaching you from a traditional sense. Not all this new junk that they're teaching now, put your hands down and all that nonsense. That can get you knocked out, okay? Uh, hands up, all right? If you're, if you're a softball, we're not going into stances, but I just want to let you know, if you're an orthodox fighter, your left hand is, should be your jab. If you're a softball fighter, your right hand should be your jab. That means for you stubborn ass kids, if you're right-handed, you don't set up with your right in the front. You, that's what causes converted softballs. And then what happens is when you do that, yeah, you gotta you end up having a good right hook, but your, your left hand will, will be underdeveloped. But anyway, we, that's a whole nother video we're gonna do on, on, on the right hand, the uppercut, the left hook, and all the punches. But right now we're on the jab. So you wanna have your hands up, okay? And you wanna, you wanna, when you throw the jab, you kinda push off your back foot. Okay, so you're pushing off your, off your back foot, and at the same time, you're extending your arm. Now listen, this is very important. This stuff I don't like. Bent arms, I call it. This is this board spring. Okay, board spring. So when you throw the jab, you want to be a board. You want to be stiff, nice and strong. Pop, pop, pop. You want it to be nice and strong. Okay, you don't want to have a. You don't want it to be bent like that. So when you, so you set up, you throw the jab. It should you should turn your fist. Back in the day, guys used to actually cut people like that. Yeah, believe it or not. Back in the day, they turned that jab, whop, 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 and they, they, they caused cuts on people. That's why, that's why people put Vaseline on. <laughs> believe it or not, that's why they, back they put the Vaseline, that's where that started from, because guys would be cutting people. People that, that, that got, uh, are prone to cuts, you, you twist them jabs in them, and you start cutting them up. Eventually, by round four or five, you open up cuts. But anyway, Turn the jab, you twist it over, right? Turn it right around, boom. Now, the camera ain't gonna show, I'm looking at the camera, but what, when you throw the jab, you always wanna tuck to the hand you're throwing, okay? So if you're throwing the jab, you want your chin to go this way, not this way. Because if you start doing this jump, see that? Start doing that jump, what a guy like me would do, I'd faint you and set you up, I'd set a trap for you. If I see you doing this stuff, I'll set a trap for you, I'll slip, slip that jab, or fake that jab, and I'll hit you with a straight right, lead right here. Because I know where your head's gonna be, you're over here. So every time you go there, I just, I just hit you with a lead. That's that punch that Roy Jones used to do all the time. When he wind up like this, and he, and he shoot that straight right, kind of lead right in there. You wanna be careful. So you always tuck, tuck the chin. Keep your chin tucked. Here we go, right here. Pop, right there, keep it nice and tough. Pop, pop, pop. Nice and straight, nice and strong. No, no. No, no, uh, 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 you know, always a board, okay? No springs. That's why I can't stay in this stuff. <laughs> listen, listen. All that stuff, that shoe shine and junk, you're not gonna use it in the ring. Most of you guys ain't getting inside to throw that stuff anyway. So, back to the straight punches first. All right, yeah, here it is. Right here, very simple. Ha, see that there? Ha, 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 you can double up on it. Uh, there's body jabs, look at some people. Floyd likes to do that. Floyd Mayweather got everybody doing that body jab where you throw the body there. Now see what I'm where I'm at right now? That's wrong technique, okay? You bend your knees. You gotta bend your knees, okay? That's why you need knee bends and strong legs, okay? Listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, none of this, if you're going to the body, you don't do this stuff. Again, you're prone to the counter puncher. A, a slick counter puncher like me, I love it. I'll see a guy shadow box me for the fight. If he does that stuff, it's all right, I got him. Cause I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set him up and I'm gonna hit him with counter punches. So when you go to the body, you get down. Sit down. Boom. Here's where you're at when you go to the body. You're not doing this stuff. 
You're down here, okay? All right. You throw the jab up here. Sometimes when you throw the jab, I'll show you a quick uh, counter punch that I used to do that was very effective when I was fighting. So throw the jab as I'm setting my weight up on my right foot. So it's a, it's a, it's a very complicated move. It takes practice to learn it, but once you learn it, you have a devastating corner right here. And here's all, what happens. I'm gonna do it fast for you, then I'm gonna break it down for you. All right, what I do is I kind of step back while I'm kind of throwing the jab as a range finder, okay? So I'm going, stepping back, at, simultaneously throwing the jab out there. I don't, you don't have to throw it strong. You're really just using it to blind your opponent into uh, 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 find a range fighter, so I know where his chin's at. And at the same time, I'm sitting on my back leg and I'm firing off that. Boom, so here's how it looks in, 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 in full time. All right, guys walk into that. And here, you do that a lot when you got an aggressive fighter. This is an aggressive fighter that's, uh, that just comes in with his face first. These, these aggressive guys, you eat them alive with that. Because they'll run right into it all day long. You know, you jab it, he's running in. You set them back, set them up. Wah! Boom. Fight's over, okay? Now, you can use the jab for uh, for the blind guys. You know, you ever see Tommy Hearns back in the day when he just kind of leave, leave the hand out there like that? What he's doing is using it as a range finder and he's blinding, he's impairing your vision, okay? Your line of vision. So you can't really see the right hand coming. So when he's right there, he follows it right here and right, right after. So it looks like this in real time. See, you, you blind him like that, and you trip. Hey, you want to throw a power jab? Okay, listen, a good power jab, a, a listing, sunny listing jab. A power jab is basically just coming from your back leg and your waist. It's all one motion, baby, all one motion. So, 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 see, see, see where I'm at? And I'm, Pushing right off that back leg, see? And I'm, and it's almost like a kind of semi-hook jab. Okay, but here you go. Every, the key to a powerful jab is your back leg, okay? And here's one other thing I want to mention for you jackasses that be training kids and they, 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 they teach a bad technique. I don't never like this stuff. One foot off the ground, you can't see my foot, but this one leg up in the air stuff. Don't ever, 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 ever lift uh, your legs. Up. When you want to get generate power, and that's with any punch. That's with a hook, that's with a right, uppercut, whatever you throw, you want to plant. You always want to be planted. That's where your power comes from. It's like a tree. You plant, pop, boop, 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 boop. See, I remember how Sugar Ray Leonard used to uh, dance around. And then when he's ready to plant, he'll plant, pop, 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 Then he'll get back up on the stove. So you always make sure you're, you're planted nice and good, okay? Now, a jab, another combination that I used to do off the jab is the, is the left uppercut. Now, the, any kind of uppercut is as dangerous punch to throw. So you practice that over and over and over. You gotta practice thousands and thousands of times. Any punch you should be practicing thousands and thousands of times. You should be throwing them at least five, six, seven hundred. You gotta throw a lot, you gotta practice it uh, because the uppercut is very dangerous. And then when you practice on the bag with it, when you start sparring, you try it out, you know what I mean? You try it out, see if you can land it. Here's the punch I said. See, I was a, a, a devastating uh, counter puncher. So I catch guys coming in. If you catch guys coming in, the force of your punch and, the, and them coming forward, it's like two, it's like two meeting forces that, that is devastating. So it's, you, you got like a double wallop. Okay, so when I showed you this jab, when I when I set him up with the jab, uh, and then I throw the right hand as the counter, uh, uh, they're coming in. Another thing is with the left jab, up, left uppercut. When you get guys that are aggressive and they keep coming, you can jab them and you know they're coming after the jab. Same thing, step back, left uppercut. So it looks like this in real time. You know what I mean? So you're, you're throwing it, you're stepping back, and you're firing the left uppercut. It's a good, it's a good combination to catch guys that are aggressive. A lot of guys, I'm being tall, guys that are tall fighters, they, look, look, first of all, being a tall fighter, I can still bang. You know what I mean? I, I used to get offended when guys say, think because I'm tall and thin, 
that I can't bang. I'll sit right in the trenches with him. Let's go. You know what I mean? We would go toe to toe. I had no problem going toe to toe. But listen, if you can win fights easy, why not? What? Floyd made his living like that. Make fights easy. That's a whole nother story. He's aggravated with that college style. That, that shit. <laughs> that bull crap. Here's another thing. Listen, keep your hands up, kids. Keep your hands up. I don't care about, about all that stuff that they be doing. It's not proper technique. Half you guys are trying to copy Floyd. You don't have the proper, re you don't have the reflexes, you don't have the peripheral vision, you don't have the talent to do what he does. So the best way to do is to, uh, uh, is to have proper form. Hands up, elbows tucked, none of this chicken wing stuff, none of this stuff, see that? Because guys will slip and boom, tear your ribs all apart. So keep, your, keep your elbows nice and tucked, your hands up. That's why I like Virgil Ortiz, Virgil Ortiz, Keeps his hands up and he throws his punch with power. That's why he's one of my favorite fighters besides uh, Javante Davis. Okay? Mm. We talk about some uh, some other situations that you will use the jab. The jab also is a punch that you use uh, to get out of trouble. All right. What I mean by that is if you're fighting and guy catch you with a good shot and he puts you in La La Land where you know where his conscious, his unconscious, you're right in the middle. You know what I mean? When you get there, when you get hit with a good, with a stinger, the jab can save you because now you can move in this jab. Hop, hop, hop. Moving jab. Hop, hop. Just moving jab. Hop, hop. Moving jab. Until you, until you get your mind back, until your head comes back, until your head clears. So the jab can be used for a lot of things. It can be used for range finders. It can be used for a power jab. Boom. When you want to just smack a guy up. And smack him up. It can be used for uh, 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 getting out of trouble. You know, when you hurt, just jab and move. So the jab is a very important punch. Here's the thing though. You have to commit. Any punch that you throw, that's not only the jab, it's any punch that you throw. You have to commit, okay? Nothing aggravates me more than to watch guys doing this kind of stuff. Running, running away and punching at the same time. You know what I mean? Commit, commit. If you're doing a, a counter punch like I showed you earlier where you step back and you throw in the right hand, that's fine, but when you got your head up in the air, chin all up in the air, and you're, you're trying to punch him right at the same time, that aggravates me, okay? Don't do that, kids, don't do that, all right? Use the jab, and, and, and look, when you, when you in it like anything, nothing is easy, okay? You wanna become a professional fighter like me, uh, you have to practice, nothing is easy. You have to throw this punch thousands of times. Huh? When I was in the Junior Olympics, I won the Junior Olympic Championships when I was 14 years old, young boy. And uh, I go, I, I hit the bag, this is what I do for, you know, for, you know, so I couldn't throw it, so my arm was almost, uh, couldn't even lift it. But you get stronger, see? You just keep throwing. And don't worry about, don't worry about the other punches right now, just concentrate on your jab. Get your jab nice and strong, learn how to use it at different situations. Our short guys, just uh, keep them off you. If you're, if you're fighting a, fi a fast, flashy guy, a, a fast boxer, a slick type guy, you use it as a range finder. Use it to disrupt his rhythm, because everybody fights on a rhythm. You ever see Van Holyfield with that, that nice bop he got? You remember that bop that Holyfield had? That's yeah, his rhythm. Everybody got their rhythm. Break their rhythm. You know what I mean, champ? Anyway, that's the lesson for today on the jab. Take this stuff and practice it, and you'll become a great fighter, like your boy, Punchback Skunk resident boxing expert, Greg Towns. Peace, y'all.